Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is Etho with my hot pants on. Yeah. Love these things. They're so warm and cozy. So, so bright and, and flowsy. Yeah. Okay, we're back with the expert mode, guys. It's, it's off to a tragic start, unfortunately. So, uh, to get us started today, guys, I thought we would check out something that was suggested in the comments quite a while ago, actually. Uh, the Ender Book here from Cyclic. So, apparently this thing is really good. I looked up some info on it. It takes levels, like experience points, to use it. Right? So, you load up on XP. Then you right-click, I think. Yeah, right click and you can set a waypoint and this allows you to teleport between different waypoints in your world using experience points home base new okay and the further away you get apparently the more it costs to get back so if we check this out yeah you see distance 23 exp cost one i don't know if that's levels or points like xp points if we go a little further now xp cost is three and if we click here, we're at level 11 right now. Okay, so it's not levels, it's experience points. So it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, that's going to be super convenient, though. Let's actually go check if it works in the nether. Foxhound. Those guys look so cool. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's see here. Oh, it's grayed out. Only in Dimension Zero. So it's not between uh, dim dimensions, unfortunately. Uh-huh, so just a little refresher for you guys. We worked on this bee house last episode and did some bee-so things, but we didn't quite finish it up here. I'm hoping we can get that done today, but we have some other priorities to get us started with today. Mainly power generation is a big issue for us right now. and Also, kind of food I'm struggling a lot with. Those are like our two big things right now. In our power generation room here, I threw some emeralds and some diamonds in here that we're burning right now for power. But uh, this one ran out, this one ran out, and when these things run out, uh, the base is going to shut down again. <laughs> so, oh, that's full at least. Okay, good. So we got a little bit of time here, but we need to start working on some other forms of power generation. So I thought, let's maybe get into extra utilities today, because uh, there's a bunch of different generators that we can hopefully get into. They're kind of fun to play around with. Okay, so we need a machine block from extra utilities. So it looks like we got three options to make these machine blocks. One of them requires reinforced stone and machine casing from industrial craft. That looks like the, the worst one, honestly. <laughs> so this one gives you a three if you do it. I think we might want to get into that then. This is the wrong machine, guys. <laughs> Wait a sec. We want the thermionic fabricator, not the carpenter. I knew that. I know what I'm doing here. I'm an expert. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. The sandstone has melted to glass, and now we're making some tubes. Alloy furnace here, copper and tin, make bronze. Sturdy casings, all right, we got we got a few of those now. Oh, this thing only makes four at a time unless you take them out. If you don't take them out, it stops. I thought I would come back to it and they'd all be done. It's like, nope. Definitely need to organize stuff around here pretty soon. It's getting pretty nasty. <laughs> uh, ME system needs some work and yeah, uh, in due time. Okay, is that going to start pulling them out? Maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, good. So that should keep it running. All right, good stuff. We can make 21 machine blocks right now. That's that's going to keep us going for a while, I think. Got this one done. We can choose one of these rewards. I think we'll go for the speed upgrades. Machine block. Okay, we're getting stuff done here. Things are things are automatically finishing for us. Lasso, we used that to, to pick up our donkey a long time ago. We made the machine blocks. It's going to give us five levels. And now we're, it looks like we're free to go right into the generators, actually. Bam. This thing is not going to be very good, though. So we're not even going to bother using it. Furnace generator. Okay, so now we're getting into the good stuff here, guys. Culinary generator is one of the best ones, I believe. Uh, so this burns food for power, which is unfortunately one of our problems. We don't really have good food at the moment, but we can make a lot of crummy food. <laughs> Uh, we're producing lots of weed at the moment. This is exciting. We're upgrading our kitchen, everybody. We got a toaster now. Ooh, look at that thing. Okay, we're gonna get uh, another tool rack down with a mortar and pestle. So I think the mortar and pestle is gonna allow us to grind our wheat into flour. 
let's see if we can do some stuff here now. Yeah, we can make flour. Okay. Salt. Now we can make dough. Okay. And then the dough. We're going somewhere with this. You can make bread. <laughs> And then bread, I think, can be made into toast. Ooh, yeah, I don't see it on the list here, actually. That kind of stinks. I think we might have to do it manually. <laughs> it's, it's like a, a manual toaster, really? <laughs> okay, that I didn't expect. I thought it would happen automatically, like instantly. We're going to wait for it to cook? Oh, it's toasting 20%. Oh, my goodness. Darn, so our plan kind of fell through a little bit here. I thought we could do this automatically, like hook up an item up to this and just pull out toast, right? Uh, turns out no, because <laughs> this is not automatic and you can't connect to this thing. So at best, we can make bread with three pieces of wheat um, automatically, right? And then we'll put this in. This is worth 24,000 RF each. That's not bad. But it's a little bit slow on burning it here, so we would need speed upgrades. But if you put those in, we get a big X right now because we have no grid power. And what is grid power, you might ask? Well, you can see when we hover over these machines, it says we have zero out of zero grid power. So that is extra utilities form of power. And the way we can generate it, one of the easiest ways is with solar panels. So let's make a few of these things. We need nine of them for a quest here, which is now complete. All right. Let's hand that one in. Oh, and it looks like, uh, must have got this from a quest reward. I guess just for now, let's just put them outside here. So we need a uh, clear access to the sky. And it has to be daytime for these to generate power. And I think each one just generates one grid power. So now we have zero out of nine. The nice thing about grid power is it's wireless. So right now we're using zero out of our nine available. Um... In order to use these upgrades, if we want four of them, it's going to take 4.38 grid power. Um, so now you see it says 4.38 uh, out of 9 are being used. But now we can run this with the, the speed upgrades in. And we throw our bread in. And you can see it, it goes through it much faster, produces the power much quicker. Um, it's going into the, the thing right now so we can actually see how quick it is. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move it. Uh, try that again. Oh, now we got a big X. So it's 4.38 out of zero. So that must mean it's nighttime right now. And since there's solar panels, they're not generating any. So if we sleep, then it should kick in. Yeah, now it's working. And this is the speed we're getting it right now. If we use better food, it'll be faster. But yeah, it's another power generation option we have now. And every little bit helps. So it's worth doing it, I think. I want to try out the magmatic one next here. Um, this could be good like if we want to pump lava from the nether let's see how much it actually produces here so it says oh it doesn't really say does it oh we right clicked it in okay and i guess let's just speed it up oh that's not the time in the bottle <laughs> that was a soul vial Let's just see what it ends up at. Oh, that, that gives a lot, actually. 100,000 for one bucket. That's not bad. I guess the question is, do we have to right-click in manually, or can we uh, just pump it in somehow? Oh, we can just pump it in. Okay. That is definitely a possibility, then. <laughs> oh, no. They disabled the bread recipe. Like, the standard vanilla one with the three wheat. You can only get it from, like, smelting flour or manually crafting it in the kitchen there like we were doing. Uh, this, is, this is tricky, guys. This is tricky. It's not easy to get power in this pack. Okay, slime generator. <laughs> Probably not the best choice. Apparently, we can burn slime blocks in this thing for quite a bit of power. Um, put this in. It uses four at a time. That's with no speed upgrades. That's not, uh, that's not too shabby. Is there any way to make slime balls from jellyfish? Um, cactus. We got the Tinker's Slime Island near our base here, which generates slimes automatically. And I think you can burn these blue ones in that thing as well. Um, is it the water that makes the slime spawn? I can't even remember. Liquid blue slime bucket. It must be. So if we move this water, we could maybe make a mob farm. The other option, though, is we can grow slime from these 
these trees if we get the saplings. Let's do it actually. I'm kind of excited about the slime generator. Uh, so to make this thing run, we need milk. That's the, the other kind of tricky part of it. But I saw we can get milk from a rancher. And we can make a rancher. So then we just need cows. Um, oh, that was a quest. I didn't even know that. We can get cows from this guy, I think, right? Yeah. If we go for spawn cow, give him some emeralds. And this is not where we're going to actually put the cow. I'm just, I just want to test it out here. So we can spawn in the cow with that. And then let's try our rancher. I just wanted a place where we actually had some power here. Try to get the cow a little closer. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, that's going nuts. It looks like it'll get milk pretty quick. Let's go ahead and open up some of these loot chests we've been getting from the quests. See what we get today. Mana dust. Uh oh, we got some food there. Pecking duck. Flower pouch. Mob imprisonment tool. I like getting that. That's actually pretty handy. Some toast there. This is like perfect for right now, actually. <laughs> so we can just snag that guy out of there now. Uh, more toast. And coconut shrimp. Okay, that's it. That's all we had. Okay, so let's get started on this. We're going to take the water from the slime island here. And you can see we got slimes all over the place. It seems to spawn them even when we're nowhere near this water, which is kind of nice. It's like a always running mob farm that way. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> kind of hoping we could pick this up quickly somehow, but no, I think we just got to do it this way. In order to kill the slimes, I think we'll try out the mob crusher here. Is that a quest? It is, aha. It's looking like the slime water here doesn't actually spawn in the slimes. It's the island itself. So now that we've removed all the water up there, I see they're still like falling down. There's still a bunch of them around. So we got to make the mob farm up there. Okay, how are we doing this, guys? I have absolutely no idea how this works. Do they only spawn like in the center of the island or do they spawn on the whole thing? Or maybe they can spawn even beyond that if we... If we were to build it up more, I have no clue. We'll probably figure it out as we work on this project a bit more. I have figured out that they don't spawn if I'm up here with them. Like, as long as I'm on the island, they're not spawning. So I have to be off of it uh, to get to work here. I think what we'll do, we'll just have two high walls all around here. So if they spawn in this middle section, they're not going to be able to get out. If, some, if I see some falling down still, it means they're probably spawning on the edges here and, and jumping down. Uh, and then that'll clarify that for us. And we'll just set up some fans to blow them towards the crusher here. We'll have one over here. Oh, I'm liking this already. Okay, we got them here, guys. They spawned and uh, they're getting pushed towards the crusher. They can't seem to get out, which is great. Uh, now, how do we do this? I brought a windmill over here so we can get some power. And then we'll just run that to that. See if that'll start killing them. Yeah, okay, good, good. I believe there's a fortune upgrade, like a looting thing you can give us. So we get more slime balls if we use that. Does it pick up the slime? It does. Okay, good. For the slime farm, I think we're going to want to set up some of these ender chest things to move the slime balls. But they require wither dust. So we got to go find a fortress now. It's adventure time. Here we go. Let's see if I can uh, set our spawn here. Did that work? Oh yeah, so we can teleport within the nether with this thing still. So that's good. If I fall in lava or something, should be able to escape that way. This nether looks absolutely crazy, by the way. We got bones in the lava. We got blue fire all over the place. Magma islands. Uh, some plant life and stuff down there. Some thorns. Now, thankfully, we do have our fall damage prevention, and we have our climbing gloves, so getting around here isn't too bad. Uh, but, there's like no fortresses. <laughs> it's like, insane. Oh, they're walking into the thorns. Poor guys. This is a bad idea, guys, but this thing generated right by the land. Usually they're up way above a lava lake. And I want to see what's inside. <laughs> okay, we shaved off the outer layer. Nothing bad happened yet. You <laughs> hear the sounds though. They're waiting. Fortunately, a lot of that fell in the lava. Oh 
Okay, get this a little closer. Add these in here. Um. Okay, now we go. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's no way I'm staying around for that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't see any fortresses off that way. I gotta try a different direction here. Oh my goodness, there is actually one here. Oh, I was about to give up. <laughs> I kind of need to give up. I'm all out of food now. But we found a fortress. They actually exist. Let me get some goodies here, too. Uh, infinity by Metal Gear. That sounds good. I don't know if we've had Nether Wart yet, either. We should grab that. Piston Sceptered. That's what it does. Okay, yeah. We do actually have to click it, though, but it, it can move blocks, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? Thunder. Charge and launch lightning orbs. We got an inventory upgrade. Fire charm. Oh, I'm putting that on right away. That's a good one. There he is. Okay, here we go, guys. Come on. Give me a skull. Oh, we got a drop. That's something good, at least. Drop of evil. We're going to need that. So we've eaten one of these inventory upgrades before. We have an extra slot here. But this is food. And I need food. Oh, does it take it away? It does. I thought it would give us more, like a, another slot. But I guess it's not good to eat more than one of them. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, that was scary. You're no match for the frying pan. Nether Fortress. Just thought of this. We can mark this spot. Oh, it's so convenient. So now if we have to go back, we can just come right back here again. Uh, not seeing anything. Let's drop down here. Oh, we got a blaze spawner. This is one of the main things I was looking for as well. So I brought one of these empty sacks of holding. We can snag it and then bring it back home with us. Oh, we got, we got them. Nice. This is what we're looking for. Oh, did we get one or did we get two? Looks like two here. Okay, so I think we can craft these together. Yeah, and we can get six wither dust. So that's what we needed for the ender chest. Which means I think we're done here for now, since we're out of food anyway. So we will head back home now. Cool, so we are back at the base again here. I think we got most of the pieces we need here to finish this project off. I did notice though the fortune upgrade thing we can give that machine, so we get more slime balls, requires pink slime to get. And we need to get that from... I think a slaughterhouse? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to try craft one of those up. It says... No, it doesn't say anything there. I think that's what we want, though. Oh, poor Seth Bot. He's got that look of absolute horror on his face. <laughs> How you doing? You, you still still feeling a little rough? Seth Bot fell in the, the mob crusher a little while ago, guys. He's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, he's still hurting from it. Okay, let's head back there. We'll see if it is uh, good to go here. Okay, we got some slimes. They are getting killed by it. Does this have an inventory even? It doesn't look like it'll pick up the slime balls, but we are getting pink slime, which is a good sign. So I think what we're going to want to do is just set up the slaughter factory separately to get the, the pink slime. We do actually want to use a mob crusher here um, so that we can use the fortune upgrade. It has the inventory to pick up the items. I guess we'll put the slaughter factory on this other farm we have here. Uh, just so we can farm up some pink slime. Let's put it over here. Have to run power to it. Should we try out blazes in this farm? I'm kind of scared to use blazes. Because they could catch this whole thing on fire. Uh, okay, we got the slaughterhouse there, though. Let's use our time in the bottle. Just have to make sure they can't see us. Oh man, that kills them, like, instantly. They're not even going to have a chance to... Oh, never mind, they can still shoot. <laughs> uh... That works pretty good though. Oh my goodness. With the mob crusher here, it's looking like the items just go in the inventory here. They don't go into the ender chest next to it. So we gotta we gotta pipe them in. 
We're going to set up a vacuum hopper. Pick up any slime balls that land on the ground around here. And then this we will move over. Oh, to here. Next to that. And then we'll just add a pipe. Go from this thing into there. Let's color code this to blue, white, blue. So I think that is the back. Yeah, so that's going to pump the items into here. Let's get a servo onto the, the crusher. Turn that on. Now the slime balls from this machine should go in here. They did? Okay, good. Uh, and this ender chest allows us to access those items from anywhere in our world if we set up another ender chest with the same code. All right, so now we got to hook up our slime generator to our elite energy cube here. So we're going to do that on the back. So let's turn that to inputs, this side over here. Then we can hook up some some cables to it. These are the ones we want, right? Yeah. Okay, and then the, we might have several of these slime generators. It just depends on how quickly we use up our slime. We have no trouble getting the milk, though. All right, so we got that going. We're going to have... Maybe let's put the ender chest, like here and then we might put another slime generator on this side again it all just depends on how quick it, it uses it up so if we color code that to blue white blue we can see the slime balls inside and then we can pump those to here with a servo on the item ducts and that should start filling this up yeah okay let's put our cow in the cage here all right and then we're gonna run some item ducts from the rancher to the slime generator to we'll pump out the full buckets of milk. And now if we have some buckets in here, it should work, right? We just got to kickstart it with uh, one bucket ourselves. So let's fill that up with put the, that in the slime generator so we get some power here. Now this can start milking. Those buckets should go in here, but we gotta get the empty bucket out of here and back into the rancher. So we'll run that underneath. Oh, it's empty down here. We got a cave. <laughs> yeah, full buckets are going in there. And then empty buckets go back in here, so we will never run out. So I put the four times speed upgrades in there, and we are now officially out of slime balls. <laughs> but it pumped out quite a bit of power in that time. Like we're using a ton right now. Uh, and these all shut off, so... Yeah, if we got this thing running, like, it uses so much power, it's insane. And this thing. So let's just shut those off for now. And we gotta work on a way of getting more slime balls, I guess. Oh my goodness, this almost drove me crazy. So I've been trying to get the pink slime out of the slaughter factory. We need it. But this also produces liquid meat. Two different liquids in the same machine. I've tried using, uh... Liquid ducts to pump the liquids out into tanks and stuff. If you right click it, it doesn't take anything out. I guess the trick is, the secret is, you're supposed to hover over which tank you want and right click. <laughs> and that's how you get it out. Oh my goodness, that, was, that took me way too long. Okay, we got our pink slime. We can place it in the world here. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then it produces a pink slime, which we can kill for some pink slime balls. We need the pink slime ball for a fluid sifting machine here. Okay, so then we take another bucket of pink slime out of here and we put it in the sifter. We need two of them. Get two buckets in there and then combine that with an iron ingot. We get the pink slime ingot. And then we use that to make our fortune add-on for the mop crusher so we get more slime balls. But we also... It, does, it doesn't just work. We need to enchant it with a fortune book, which I'm not sure how we're going to get. Fortune... We need fortune 3 on it. Uh, okay, we can get it from an enchanter. I wonder if that's hard to make. Yes, impossible to make. Okay. <laughs> Darn it. I think we actually have to just do this the old-fashioned way and use a, a regular enchanting table and hope we get the Fortune 3 upgrade just by chance here. Um, so Magical Wood functions like a bookcase, except it's more compact. I think we might need one more here. No, we can get to level 30. Okay. 
Um, so we can do our enchantments. That's our first enchantment of the of the series here. <laughs> kind of hard to believe, but you don't really need enchantments too much in modded because you use these uh, custom tools and armor all the time, right? Uh, the problem is, though, we've used all of our experience on decoration for the base here, pretty much. So we, this is all we have left, <laughs> which means we don't get many chances here. And we'll probably have to do this another episode. Smelting, okay, not what we're looking for. Just need that fortune three. Oh, that's it. That's all we had. Okay, so two enchantments, and now we're out. All right. Well, we're kind of pressing the time here for this episode, so I think we're gonna wrap up for today, and I'm gonna try. Uh, probably go do some quartz mining or mob hunting for experience, and then try to get that Fortune 3 book for this thing. We, we enchanted on an anvil, put that in our mob crusher, and we'll get more slime balls from our slime farm and generate more power, which will be awesome. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching. Oh, actually, wait a second. Before we finish up, I always forget to do this. Let's hand in the rest of our quests here that we did unintentionally. <laughs> and... Uh, Check out our other loot crates here. So we got three more handed in. I think that's all. All right, we got augment ign ignition plugs. Greatly increases power generation and efficiency. Only refined fuel. I'm not quite sure what that does, to be honest. We got a greenhouse glass. I think that allows you to grow crops quicker if you put them above it. And we got a scanner. Aha. All right, now we're wrapping up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.